Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another video. I know it's been a while since I uploaded, so hopefully I'll be coming back with a bang with this one. So what I made here is a, or what I'm going to demonstrate today is a 3D render engine that I made using the power of NCurses. Now if you didn't know, NCurses is software that essentially allows you to write to any line on the screen. So pretty much, or any actual location, you can move it over this way, you can move it up, down, left, right, it doesn't really matter. Pretty much when you typically use printf, it only lets you draw one line and then you have to move to the next and you have to move to the next, and you're unable to go back up to this line and modify it. What NCurses does, it lets you say, okay, I don't care where your cursor is now, I'm going to let you move it wherever you want, and you can start writing to it. So if I wanted to take this line and draw it up here, I could easily do that just by doing one NCurses call. So what I did was I used the fact that NCurses could do this to make a 3D render engine in the terminal, and it's essentially OpenGL. Actually, I shouldn't say that, because that's really cocky sounding, but it functions similarly to OpenGL, where it's able to draw 3D graphics onto the screen using vertices and transformations and all that stuff and complicated math. But either way, here's the game that I made just to demonstrate it. Here we go. So you're first introduced with a splash screen where you have the option to look at instructions, the backstory, and just hit play. I'll hit play. So what you'll notice is you're the monkey head and your your goal is to make it to the end of this level. And throughout the level you are faced with many obstacles that you have to avoid. And if you hit any obstacle you die. Or if you fall into the pit you die. Obviously the graphics in this are not uh, AAA title quality, however they are pretty good considering it was made in the terminal. <laughs> so. I'm I'm probably going to make this look easy, but that's just because I, this is my 10th time recording this video. <laughs> so once I get to the end, I'll talk a little bit more about it. Alright, and that's the end. So I beat the level there, uh, and that's all cool. But what I'm actually going to be doing is, I'll talk about this later in a channel update video, talking about my absence and all that. Um, but for now, I I'll just tell you that I will be making a tutorial series on how I was able to do this and, most importantly, how you could do it yourself. I'll be going through all the code I write. There won't be any guessing if I wrote this code correct. I'll have it all posted on a website. You'll be able to check your work and, you'll be, and I'll just do my best to make sure that you have a functional version of this and that you understand how it works because that's really my goal here I'm an educational YouTube channel I want to make sure that everyone understands this stuff but additionally I'll be doing simpler concepts because this obviously isn't a simple program by any means and it was also written in C so it's not a simple program in language either but so I'll be splitting my channel up into multiple sections it'll be a simple section and an advanced section in the advanced section it'll be tailored toward advanced audiences, as you probably guessed, and in the less advanced it would be tailored toward less advanced audiences. Still learning, but eventually you'll be able to see your progress and get to the level of advanced. Alright, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.